Hi guys, Andy here, messing about with the diesel heaters in the garage again. As you can see, today I'm playing about with the exhaust gases again. Uh, I've got two pieces of exhaust pipe here. Uh, first piece is going into this gas cylinder, where the gases are able to circulate in the cylinder, and the other pipe is coming out and going out the, uh, the garage wall. Just coming out the other side of the garage wall there and I just want to see what kind of heat we can generate from this uh, like a big hot water bottle um, because there is obviously a lot of uh, heat wasted that comes out of this exhaust pipe so uh, yeah we're just we're just trying to make use of it in another way and uh, you know see what ideas we can come up with uh, for different uses of this wasted heat and I, uh, I cut the valve off the, the top of the bottle, um, didn't really have to, but I, I just wanted to get it out of the way. And I plugged the hole up with some of that um, epoxy resin putter, the two part system, uh, which I used loads. Uh, I've used it down there uh, for the inlet and the exhaust pipe on the bottle as well. It's brilliant stuff guys, I'll put, I'll put links to this in the description, I, I use it all the time. Okay, quick bit of advertising for these guys here. Uh, it comes in those little pellets or this like tube. And uh, same stuff. And this is a piece which I had left over. It's mixed and uh, it's gone off. Look at that. It goes absolutely like stone. You can do anything with it. Uh, and it's sealed so many, uh, I don't know, leaks and fixed so many things from me. Brilliant stuff. I really recommend that. So we'll get the heater started up, uh, but first a little temperature check off the, the bottle, 15.7 degrees. Uh, so yeah, we'll, uh, we'll get it started up and see what happens. Okay, so I've switched the uh, power supply on over there. We'll press the on button for just a second and uh, we'll wait for it to come on as usual. Uh, as you know, if you've got one of these, they take about 30 seconds to come on, the glow plug has to get hot and then you'll hear the, the pump in the back of the machine start ticking uh, forcing the, uh, we're using kerosene in this one, I was going to say diesel uh, they are known as a diesel heater but yeah I'm using kerosene um, I find it a lot cleaner um, and cheaper as well, the reason for using it so this will get started within about um, another 15 seconds uh, and while I'm waiting for this just to uh, to get started guys I'll uh, take this opportunity to say if you haven't got one of these heaters now's the time to buy one they're at an all-time low in price uh, I don't know if it's just because um, you know the cold season hasn't hit in yet in in the UK where I am uh, or what but these are like uh, 75 80 pounds English pounds at the moment and last this time last year they went to a hundred and eighty pounds. They're a hundred pounds cheaper. Um, like su supply and demand, isn't it? But uh, yeah, now's the time to buy. Uh, again, I'll put links to these in the description. But I mean, you all know how to buy your stuff, don't you? But um, yeah, now's the time. Get one. Okay, so the heater's just started up. It's winding up getting warmed up it's on setting three uh, which is halfway it goes up to setting six and that exhaust pipe which which comes out of the machine that gets really hot very quickly yeah, you, you can't touch that already guys I don't know if my temperature machine will make it's showing 18 19 but it is a little bit of a reflective surface although it's tarnished there 19 yeah, the gas bottle's still cold but yeah you, you can't even touch that already I have to admit guys I'm starting to panic now I'm thinking will it explode but it can't can it I mean there's an inlet and an outlet it's just it's some exhaust gases but I did have a little panic there okay so it's only been on a couple of minutes and I find it interesting to see which parts of the bottle have, have heated up first. Obviously it's the flow of the gases. Um, and it's round here. Obviously the gases are coming up and they're going, they're hitting this part. They're hitting that part first. OK, 
Okay, so we've got 20, 21. A bit cooler up there, 18. And as we, we go over to this side, 21. 23 there, 23, 23 degrees, 20. I mean, that's, that's, that's pretty hot. You can barely keep your hand on that. Yeah, you can't keep your hand on that part. Okay, so we're outside with the exhaust again. Uh, quite a bit of condensation coming out now now we're passing the exhaust gases through the bottle um, normally there'd be absolutely no condensation coming out of the exhaust uh, by itself quick temperature check 21 22 around this side obviously like I said the exhaust gases are going in and up slightly and uh, around this side is, is the hottest part. We've got 26 and a half, nearly 27. And it goes up. As it goes up, we're looking at 23. So, yeah, the exhaust gases are going straight through and they're hitting this side here. And that's where the, uh, the hottest temperatures are. But that, that bottle, that's a nice little, uh, kind of a, heat battery. I have to say where I've used this um, epoxy resin putty to uh, seal the um, where I took the valve off and where the, the pipes go in and out there's no leaks at all it's absolutely gas tight. Um, I use this to repair exhaust uh, on cars and motorcycles I find it really good. Okay so we've got some 30 degree uh, temperature readings over this side. This is like the hottest part as we found so far of the bottle but um, give me some comments guys as you know I'd love to hear what you're, you're thinking uh, where we could take this further uh, this is just a silly experiment but you know how we could uh, really properly make use of this uh, in our house or workshop garage whatever please give me some comments but yeah we, we are getting some extra heat energy out of the machine by feeling heat from the bottle within the garage where we are. Uh, one thing went through my mind, a simple little thing we could do is maybe cut the top of the bottle off, uh, weld like a, a, a flat plate on the top of it uh, and maybe we could just rest our, our coffee jug on the top of it to keep our coffee warm. Um, you know, that's, that's just one little thought. Uh, it's free heat, isn't it? It would only be... This, these exhaust gases would only be going out of the wall there. So uh, that's another a simple use without like thinking too deeply into it uh, of what, how we could make use of this heat. I have to admit, um, there's going to be a little bit of turbulence like right here, where the, the gases go in. They're going to kind of go like that. Before before they come out the pipe over there so that you know there is going to be a little bit of a, a turbulence there I do admit uh, which is going to restrict the machine somehow I would have thought okay so we just had a reading of about 34 around this side of the, uh, the gas bottle and the, uh, the condensation outside uh, coming out the exhaust pipe outside has seemed to have stopped at the moment um, I think it's time to turn the heater to number six, full blast. I am a little bit scared. I mean, I don't think anything can go wrong. What can go wrong? It's not going to explode, is it? I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. Okay, here it goes. That's on number six, full power. Uh, that's going to build up. And uh, we'll see what kind of heat we get. And uh, See if we get an explosion. Just remember guys, I'm doing this for you. I'm doing it for you. Um, one interesting thing I've, I've just uh, to point out is um, the uh, the paint on the gas bottle was, uh, was a satin black. It's all I had, I didn't have a mat. Uh, I know it's better for uh, taking a reading with a temperature gun than the matte black. 
Uh, but it seemed to have gone a gloss black with the heat. Um, that's quite interesting. 34. As, as you can see, it's, uh, it's reflecting the, the laser off it. It wasn't doing that to start with. The, uh, the satin black was kind of absorbing the laser. And that's gone. The, uh, the condensation has it's actually stopped now. And that's with the heater on full power. Just at a temperature reading over that side of the bottle, uh, 45 degrees, that's the high so far. Uh, but again, I'd just like to point out this stuff, it's holding up guys, it's, uh, there's no exhaust gases uh, leaking out there, there's no smell of fumes in here. I'd say there is a little bit of um, like a burn off smell from the bottle uh, and that's just off the paint. Okay, so quick temperature check. 34, but it is reflecting off there slightly. 33 at the top of the, uh, the bottle. Forty-eight and a half is the highest reading we've had so far over over this side of the bottle, where obviously the the exhaust gases are, are pointing when they come out of the pipe from the machine. That's the highest reading so far. I think we I think we've done enough here. I think we're ready to turn the heater down. We'll turn it to one, calm it down a bit, and uh, see what kind of, uh, how long the uh, heat, the bottle retains its heat uh, when the mach machine's switched down or off even. But that is really hot guys, you can, you can warm your hands on that, and that is like, uh, a, a means a storage of uh, energy there it's a storage of heat um, so yeah we I'm sure we can uh, think of better ways to do this uh, but the, it, it's, it can be done I know it can be done there's possibilities out there for this uh, for this kind of use isn't the heater a lot nicer on setting one or two rather than six it's a little bit too noisy isn't it really on, on six uh, I'm going to turn it off now take a few seconds to go off and uh, we'll yeah we'll see how long the uh, the bottle stays stays hot okay so the heat has gone off uh, it's been off a while now the uh, the gas bottle still retained uh, quite a bit of heat a while after uh, and I think if you had your coffee pot on the top of that it would definitely uh, still be keeping your coffee warm um, one of the th little thoughts I had um, while I've been making this video uh, to to store some of the heat in like a, a battery uh, would be to maybe put the pipes going into the bottle probably a little bit higher up and coming out higher up uh, fill the bottle half up with sand uh, obviously that's going to store the um, heat for longer than you know, with, without but yeah, give me some comments, guys. I know, I know there's some uh, you, some clever guys out there. You are, and uh, you can teach me a thing or two. Um, yeah, give me some tips, advice. You tell me. I'll do another video about it, to uh, another experiment. I love messing about with things like this, as you know. Uh, and please give me a little like and subscribe. And if you click on my username, Andy Fireblade, uh, you'll see all my other videos. So thanks for watching. And I'll see you on the next one.